All right, good morning, guys. Guess what we're doing today here in Uriella? What are we doing? Uh, we're sliding. <laughs> <laughs> so, ditching the motorbike for the day, and we're gonna hop in these horses. Are you going on first? Yes. Oh, yeah, my hand. What animal? Nice. How does it feel? Oh, nice. This is so small. It's a pony. A half pony. Half breed. Half breed, half breed pony. Pony is smaller than this. Okay. So this is her only second time on a horse. Oh. Uh, like a month, I was taking uh, two years ago. I was taking a horse riding courses From during there. the months in Ukraine. Oh, so you took it a few times. How many times have you been? I took here a month. A whole month. Okay, so she's that good. I mean, you know the riding, huh? But I forgot it was two okay, years ago. Okay, I will ago. teach you no problem. Okay. Okay. Can you hold it for a second? Mm-hmm. You can. Oh yeah. I am sorry. Okay, so it's already filming, just hold it. Don't, don't press anything. Just hold it, huh? Just hold it, yeah. So we're gonna go ride, I think in a mountain somewhere, I'm not really sure where. But this is the race course in Norella, the turf club. And she's excited, I know I'm excited. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, let's get riding. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you wanna keep it? Or? Yes, I decided yeah, I'll, to. Keep I'll, it. I'll take it. Good to me. Oh, okay. I'll put it in my pocket. Oh. Ah, he's here. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? Right <laughs> Okay. Okay, where do you want to go? Okay. Okay. All right. Where are we going? We'll go. Okay, let's go. I love how there's always a dog that's going to follow the horses. Oh, look at this little calf. It's the pony, I guess. It's so small. And we're so lucky that today is a sunny day because normally so misty and cold here but today it's really beautiful so these are the ponies oh it's a really small pony it's like a big dog let's go let's go let's go buddy hey pony let's go <laughs> so, this one is so small. Look how tiny this pony is. Alright. So, we're gonna cross the street, not get hit by a tuk tuk. Hey guys. <laughs> Now we're gonna go up into the mountains. Uh -huh. A little trap going. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> go straight. Come on, let's go. Just right one left. Let's go. Come on. Wait one minute. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, let's catch up. Let's see this too fast now. Let's go. Go, 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 go. All right, so I'm on a horse <laughs> in the mountains and the guys, it's so weird, the two guides, normally they're always also on horses, but these guys are literally just like running up the hill behind us while we're on horses. I have no idea why they don't have their own horse. Hello, good morning. How are you? Nice <laughs> ride. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. 
Good morning, how are you? <laughs> I gotta catch up with Christina. Woo! Let's go! Come on, come on, come on. This is so hard riding a horse one handed, by the way. <laughs> Especially when he gets up to a trot. Wherever you want to go, it's your horse. That's no, it's, it's better for horses. Horses are all wheel drive, okay. four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this valley. It's really, really pretty. Beautiful. Stop eating. Eat later. Hey. Let's go. Hey, buddy. You can come join us. Come on, let's go. Up. Let's go up to the viewpoint. <laughs> so the guy just asked uh, where I learned to ride, because he could tell that like I was pretty comfortable on the horse. And the funny story about that is my very first time I've ever ridden a horse. It. The guide, it was, a, it was a midnight horseback ride somewhere in Southern California. This crazy drunken cowboy took us out. And then his horse, 10 minutes in, threw him off, kicked him. <laughs> and uh, one of his horse ran away and he yelled, somebody go chase that horse. Somebody get that horse. So I started like trotting basically to a full gallop. First time ever riding a horse, middle of the night, pitch black. And I just assumed everyone else had followed, or at least a few other people had followed. And I'm like galloping, galloping for like 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> Straight, like so full on. I was scared, scared of my life I was gonna fall off. And I realized it was just me and one other guy who, who went after the horse. And we just kept going and we we're like, okay, like it'll be fine. Like, you know, we'll get to the horse. Even though we had no plan, like, what do we even do once we get to the horse? Like, how are we gonna get it back? <laughs> Where are we? So, we are just basically going, going, and, and there's nothing we can do because the, the 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 guide's horse is the alpha horse, so our horses are following it at at least a, a trot, so like pretty fast, and like we go towards we see a river in front of us coming up or think okay this would be good because it'll have to stop there's no way it can cross this river but it starts to gallop faster and faster and we're like oh my god what is it doing and it runs through the river and it soaks us because it gets all the way up to like our knees basically and like this horse is crazy i put this here oh perfect I dropped the reins because I'm just filming one-handed. And the horse keeps trying to eat grass. Beautiful photo though. Let me take it. So just oh, oh. this way. Oh no, we want a photo in front of this. It's really nice. Yeah, for both of us. Oh, okay. Yeah, Wait, slowly, 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 slowly. slowly, slowly. Okay, turn. Mello for it, Adi. You make video or photo? Is it video now? Yes. So we say something. So we are at this Buddhist temple. It's really beautiful. I don't know if you can see. And then behind me, there's actually like a statue of an elephant. It's really pretty. It's a really beautiful view. So we're going to stop for a photo. Okay. All right. So while we're going up here, I'm going to continue the story. So we're running full speed, gallop towards a, a river. And we, we somehow <laughs> cross it. So we're soaking wet. Luckily, thank God, 
as soon as we get to the other side, the horse just stops running and it just slows down. It's pitch black, except for the moonlight. It happened to be a full moon that day. And I just start walking the horse. My horse, his horse, the, the guy's horse. And we, I, and I don't know what else to do. You know, I have no cell phone reception, nothing, right? So I say, I just start screaming out, like, like you know, and I'm trying to just say landmarks, right? So we'll say, we just crossed the, 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 the river. We just crossed the river. I see a water tower. I see a, a water tower, like, you know, and like, and then 10, 15 minutes late, later, I'll say, you know, I see, I see a yellow house. I see, a, you know, and I'll just scream it out. No response, nobody, nobody yells back, nothing. And I'm thinking, I'm just screaming to the boy, but I don't know what else to do. You know, maybe the horse knows how to get back. Maybe somebody will hear me. And 20, 30 minutes later, the guide catches up to us, to me and, and his horse. Turns out he had taken someone else's horse. And he said that, and I said, how did you find me? He said, oh, I was listening, I was listening to your voice. Every time you would, you would yell, I would follow it. And I was like, okay, I'm glad it worked, but why, why didn't you tell me Yo back saying I'm coming or something. So I, I wouldn't, I would know that someone's actually coming. But that's how I learned how to ride a horse. That very first, very first time kind of forced me to get good. Not something I would recommend to other people, but it was a interesting experience. And since then, I have never been afraid of horses because nothing has compared to how crazy that, that journey was. Wow. It's that very high mountain. Oh, those are the hills. This lake is really pretty from being up here. So we're gonna let the forest have some uh, food, some breakfast. And actually today we we're gonna be going from forest to train back to Ella. So it's a fun journey. Motorcycle, forest, train on one day. Oh, then scooter too. Four boats of transport. And Tesla, five boats of transport. So this is that temple that we took a photo in front of earlier. We're so high up in this mountain right now. It's really beautiful up here. We're lucky that it's such a clear day. Normally it's really misty, so you don't really see any of this. It's so weird that our guides have basically hiked up and like ran up this hill to, to keep up with us sometimes. I'm so curious why they're not riding their own horses. They had plenty of horses there. <laughs> Maybe it's easier for them to, to help us if they, if they needed, but yeah, these guys are tough, dude. They're not even tired. They're like, they're just like sprinting up sometimes <laughs> and like just catching up to us. Cause sometimes we're at a, at a like full trot. Here I like made cuts. Ouch. It's now really... it's okay, but there was a lot of blood. Can you see your hand? Now it's okay? Now it's okay, yes, I want okay. it. So you're walking the horses down a bit, taking a little break. My butt is so sore. <laughs> okay. One, two. Ha. Ready to ride again. Go slowly. Ready to go back down the mountain. Enough? Yeah, enough. All right, so we're back. On our way back down again. Hopefully, we can make it back in time for some breakfast before we hop on the train. Uh, why are you not on a horse? Why are you walking? Because see, we have to follow yours. Yeah, uh, but you can't follow us on a horse. No, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, then, uh, cost for the horse. Oh, uh, it costs more money. We have to pay. We have, it's not owned by us. Oh, so you have to. You have, okay. So you have to hire the horse. Yeah. So it's cheaper it's for you to walk. Cheaper, yeah. But you're not tired walking up the mountain yeah. every day. It's okay. It's our duty. Yeah. It's good no, exercise. We have, uh, see, myself, see, before when we have your schooling time. Yeah. We used to run from there to here. We wow. Have a soccer club. Okay. Normally. And so now? Now we will play a little bit on this. Okay. And you play soccer too? Football. Yeah. Football, soccer, yes. you like? And uh, but, and this hike, you are tired or no? Is it easy? Feel a little tired, not more. Okay. So now, once we go, yeah, we'll take a little rest. Uh, okay. It's not continuously happen, you know. Uh, now when we go, 
maybe one hour we'll give rest for them okay yeah after smart. the customers come yeah only give them Same. other ponies they will give always uh -huh. but this is we keep separate mm -hmm. if for the customers they said visitors what okay. they need we will give oh nice so it's good exercise for you <laughs> but, yeah small. but why are you so fat <laughs> Uh, see, uh, actually, uh, my proportional is not this. Uh -huh. I work with, uh, you know, Tommy uh, Ilfiger, all label. Oh, okay. In Vietnam. Oh, okay. So this is a vacation for you? Not vacation. For fun. Oh, you're yeah. stuck here? Yeah. Oh, wow. In fact, before, like one year I was here. Uh-huh. I have planned to go here. Unfortunately, I found this. Okay. Oh, but at least you can have still a job here. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we have to do something to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. okay. So I'm miss, with Mr. Horse today. How was your, your journey? Not bad? Near Ploha? All right. This is such a beautiful view coming down. Let me see this temple right over here. So the climate is very good. Yeah. Because before two days, like raining, mm -hmm. two days the best climate. Really nice, yeah. And clear, you can clear. see the view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Normally it's mist. <laughs> oh, <it's our> <laughs> I'm finally, I'm in the front. It's always, it was always following Christina's horse. I think since we're going back now, he's okay with it. Look at this temple. Wow. <laughs> it's such a pretty view. Enough this view, guys. I'm gonna be tired of it by now. I know the horse is not that stable, but it really is. It really is beautiful. Full trot. Oh, that was a yeah. trot. Yes, it's it was unbelievable, like, magical feeling when you are riding the horse and into among the two plantations and just started to run slowly. Oh my god! It was a pretty fast run. It was too fast for me to film, so I because I didn't want to drop my camera, so I I had to uh, put my my camera away because it was like you were on your like uh, stand up a little bit. It was, she was like standing up like yeah. this and. It was at least a full trot, almost a gallop, so good job. Guys, I would have loved to show it to you, but I'm filming on an iPhone. It's really hard to hold while even walking the oars, yet alone at like a, like a pretty fast run. So I was like, I can't drop my phone. Sorry guys, but it was really fun. Time to say goodbye to our horses. Thank you so much. Sufi, Laundry for being a good horse. I think Christina had a good time. <laughs> Thank right, you guys. Go back guys.